What's up guys? Welcome back to this YouTube channel. One thing you should do first is make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel, yeah? Uh, so today in this episode, I'm gonna be bringing back our market insights, what we used to do before on our YouTube channel, market insight telling you what the market is about to do ahead. So today I'm gonna be giving you guys some updates on some analysis I got uh what i'm looking out for how i plan entering the market today uh it's gonna be top launch yeah give you top down analysis of the market just basically like two pairs or three pairs yeah i'm gonna share with you guys make sure you learn and also like uh watch out for the videos watch out for the market reaction you know as it goes you know you know what we're doing top down analysis is gonna be in this video yeah so share to your friends as well while you're watching Make sure everybody benefits in this video and uh, I wish everybody a profitable week ahead. Let's make this money, you know, like I told you guys I want to trade with so many people as much as possible. So like this one of the things I can do to help the society out there. Sharing my weekly review uh, to you guys, what I'm looking out for in the market, uh, why I'm going to be entering my trade. Just more of like a signal, yeah, but you just need to like rephrase your own to do your analysis. I'm going to give you some clues. Just go back do your analysis back test as well. Yeah, why you watch my analysis. So cheers guys, stay tuned. Let's jump on the chat right away. Let's get What's up guys? We're back, we're back on the chat. Yeah. So uh, basically, as I said earlier, I have got three setup for you guys. Yeah. The three setup, if you see by the right side of my trading view, you see like the red flags pairs. Those are the major pairs I trade. Yeah. Now exclude out all the USD. So in these three pairs, like this is gonna be a fantastic week ahead, as I've seen in the market. Yeah. So now I've got three setup I want to share with you guys. First on gold, second on GBP USD, third one on GP, GPP JPY. Even in USD, I also get set up from there, but I'm gonna be sharing two with you guys, whether uh, gold or GPP USD as the spirit lead, yeah. Uh, so now this is gold chart, yeah. Uh, from last week, looking at the reaction that has happened in the market, remember what you're trying to do now. We're trying to like forecast the week, yeah. We're trying to look at what's gonna happen in the week, yeah. How, how are we gonna make this money in the week? How can we get opportunity out? This coming week, yeah, and the market is gonna open tonight. And let's see reaction. Let's see reaction. You know, this is not my first time doing this. We do this shit live. You know how I do, yeah. So if you're watching this video, you're in the best way. All you just gotta do is back test, do your own analysis to support yourself in what you're doing, yeah. So I'm gonna give you the analysis. I'm gonna give you possible entry for myself. Then I'm gonna give you stop loss area, what I'm expecting this market to react to. Then it is for you to go back to your back end, do what you have to do, do your analysis as well, to like back up what you have just watched. Yeah. Not this, this does not mean that this is 100 percent guarantee. Anything can happen in the market. My father does not own the market. I always tell you that. All right. So now let's jump on the gold analysis. Now this, I'm on the weekly time frame. Though I'm meant to start from the monthly time frame analysis, but basically look at what we have on the monthly time frame. We have this pain by rejection. Crazy, what's happening here? Like look at the crazy rejection form on the monthly time frame. So the whole month of the previous month, there was a rejection and it kind of forms something like a doji or gravestone. Yeah. Now the next kind of form forming, what are you expecting? Right? Is it supposed to be a bullish and golfing, bearish and golfing kind of? Now, but you can't do anything on the monthly time frame. Let's go to the weekly time frame. Let's see what is reacting over there. Right? So at this point, remember this, most of my students will know this year. We we'll have what we have, we we'll call initial breakout entry. I'm not going to be showing you guys here, but I'm just going to relate that to it. If you're my student, I'm sure you'll have been able to uh, recognize this. So basically, we got this massive downtrend, yeah, the bearish move, yeah. Then uh, we see the first eye came back. Now this is the first eye that was creating at this level. This is the second eye. At this point, we have this massive rejection that we just see on the monthly time frame, pushing upward. Now at this point, yeah, we are all expecting the bullish to probably continue. But you know something, the bullish has 
can only go up if this previous eye is broken yeah right now at this point we found this kind of candle on the monthly time frame this is like a doji yeah you can call this uh uh an armor or a shooting star like a doji now with this we found another bearish engulfing on the weekly time frame and you know this yeah i told you guys any massive thing that happens on the higher time frame it, it is much stronger than the lower time frame now this is a bearish engulfing closing on the weekly time frame on on gold right so now we got some confidence on the week on the weekly time frame now one identify this confidence out yourself we got this i this is a resistance level for us now we are closing the the previous week with a bearish and golfing massive bearish and golfing that's confidence too now what is exactly what is price the action happening here let's go to the daily time frame to see further don't remember that you've gotten some confidence yeah now this is the double top that you're seeing on the month on the weekly time frame this is a resistance now we see the massive bearish here yeah, bearish and golfing at this point now this was the uh, lowest low at that point, like the recent low, but the market couldn't break it down. Now, when the market touches the low, it came back creating the new eye. This was the first eye that was creating. This is where my horizontal line is, yeah? This is where the new eye was. Now, at this point, that is creating another resistance for you. Now, if you study the initial breakout entry, you guys, uh, my students, yeah? The initial breakout entry, you know where we could have possibly get an entry from here right so let me go to the far time frame so you see it clearly and see what i'm talking about so this was the eye that was created at that point the market bounces back market came down lower here give us like something like double double bottom here looking like it's one of push higher but if we can see the 50 ma the 50 ma was clearly at this point the 50 ma was clearly waiting at the previous high area which was giving us a resistance and at this point the market reacted to that so that for now with this market reaction i can be able to tell you okay from experience there's possibility that this trade is going to come lower going to break this level down we we'll break this level down so basically what i'm looking out for on gold is a down trend is a sell of the market so i'm just going to be looking out for the sell opportunity in this market so now you have a clue of what's happening in the market you have a clue that okay there's a sell opportunity meant to happen on this particular pair all you need is how can i get my sniper entry so i've been i've been trying to figure out that out i can possibly get my entry so i can't really tell now because markets are not open um, I have to just patiently wait when market open see the reaction. So what I'm looking at is if the market will actually push up to this level back, yeah. If market could push up to this level back, I'm gonna be taking my entry sell around this point. That's if market could push up. But let's see what happens when market opens. You can basically tell, yeah, because I would love to get a sniper entry from this. But this my there's no possibility that you will actually get a good sniper entry because if you want to get sniper entry you your entry should have been here right but let's see the second option we can see how when the market open so basically you know what you're looking out for for me if they can bounce back here i'll be taking my entry from that zone right then lower but let's see what's happening again you know what's gonna happen so you have a clue of what's gonna happen in the goal so guys go back to your own chart reverse back test and see possibility what you're looking out for right see what you're looking out for in the market So now this is GPPSD guys, uh, this is going to be the second chart, I'm going to be like uh, showing you guys the update. So now, look at GPPSD guys, 
the weekly time frame we have this massive rejection up to the upside massive rejection to the upside but recently looking at the previous low this was the previous low we have this candle didn't come back to fill up this week right before we see this upside now for me what i'm looking out for is is there a possibility that this new candle for me will come all the way from here all the way to start its downtrend all the way from here to start the downtrend and fill up this week that was previously not taken out so right so now let's go to the lower time frame yeah the daily time frame let's see what's happened there right now looking at the daily time frame on the four hour time frame i can tell that this is a double top right this is a double top formation and looking at the candle that closed previously on the daily time frame this is like a shooting star right now the shooting star double top giving you what are you also looking out for right now the four hour time frame what's it saying there the four hour time frame we see it touch the higher eye look at this level here we've got this this touches here Right now we have this low on lower time frame, one hour. The current price is currently sitting on this low. Now this can actually give us a possibility of head and shoulder, but I still doubt if it's gonna give us head and shoulder because of the closing low that was happening here. Looking at the recent low that was the price is currently at right now. Yeah, we can see that the price is reacting to this. Yeah to this low now this can give us this kind of uh head and shoulder pattern right we can see probably the price push up and probably drop here yeah? but looking at this kind of candle here yeah? i'm not actually sure this price is going to push up to that level before it drops yeah but now you have an idea of what this can do for me i'm going to be looking out for bearish move on this pair as well so all you just gotta do is Look for opportunity for entry on this pair. Uh, this is GPPSD. Let's look for opportunity of entry. I'm in for the buyers of sell on GPPSD as well. Likewise on GPPJPY. Now JPY looks like sort of more interesting setup for me. Looking at the daily time frame, yeah, there was a figure I that I figured out, and look at the massive rejection to the lower downside, right? Now the four hour time frame looking at this kind of pattern that was given on the four hour time frame yeah you can clearly tell yet on on the gpjpy whether it's gonna sell or not but this is the recent eye we have here now if this price fails to break this above right break this eye above that means we're gonna be looking out for the sell of this gpjpy that is if the if the price breaks this eye above that's gonna be like an uptrend continuation but if it fails to break that eye above here that's gonna be like a sell opportunity for us over there do you guys understand this make sure you back test here yeah? and just look for a possible zone whereby you think okay if this market does not go this way there's possibility for this one to happen for me on gold i don't think there's any bullish reversal on this at the moment no bullish reversal cited yet yeah. on gpbsd on GPUSD, I've not seen any bullish reversal as well, yeah? Until we see this, as I said, yeah? On one hour time from GPUSD, if the eyes also breaks this level, now if it breaks the, if it fails to form the head and shoulder and breaks above, that's gonna be like a bullish continuation. But if it fails not to, right? That's gonna be like a downtrend for us. For me, I'm looking out for the downtrend and I'm gonna be looking at opportunity for that in that zone so guys make sure you subscribe to this youtube video right we'll be doing this weekly and uh i wish everybody a profitable week ahead let's smash the market right good luck guys